I can't stop thinking about Donkey Kong's teeth. Did you ever notice he's hiding something? Ch check it out. Here here's Funky Kong's teeth. Those are teeth. Now here's Candy Kong's teeth. Kind of gross, but there they are. There's a lot of debate about this in some circles of the DK community, but I gotta tell you, I have the answer. Just a warning, what I'm about to show you may be disturbing. Okay, so he doesn't have teeth. Like, what's the big deal? Diddy Kong doesn't have teeth, Leo Luster doesn't have teeth, Eddie doesn't have teeth, Dixie Kong swallows socks, like whatever, it's just a Kong thing, right? <laughs> Wrong! Listen, I've caught this ape in 4K, or whatever this show ran at. He's got retractable teeth! The question is whether this is voluntary or involuntary. The way it's portrayed in this show makes me think it's involuntary, actually. His movements are, like, so erratic and unpredictable, like, really consistently, but his teeth at times just kind of, like, slide out briefly and then go back into hiding. If he's manually controlling his teeth, retracting, he's, like, doing it constantly. Nah, I think it's tied directly to his level of aggression. This is best seen in this song where Donkey Kong's trying to act like a bad guy. And he's like, nah, dude, I'm a nice guy. I can't be bad. How am I supposed to even act that way? You really don't see his teeth at all for this whole song. But he starts getting a little into it by the end. And look at this little evil cackle he does. But, like, really look at his teeth, though. <laughs> and I bet you're thinking, oh well that's just the TV show. Wrong you filthy ape! I've been scavenging all Donkey Kong media I could find to find any link, any connection to his teeth. What does it all mean? Interestingly enough, when Rare was making Donkey Kong games, they seemed to never portray him with teeth. I've gone through like all the sprites and all the old artwork and renders and whatnot, and he just never has teeth in any of Rare's games. Alright, now don't worry, I'll get into the lore implications of this, I know you're dying to know, but we've got to start at the beginning. Alright, now everyone knows Cranky Kong is actually the original Donkey Kong from the arcade game. However, Cranky is never seen with teeth, despite Arcade Kong having teeth. Easily explainable. Cranky's an old Kong, must have lost his teeth over time. But something is just not adding up. Rare explicitly never gave Donkey Kong teeth. This being, of course, the original trilogy on DK64. But Nintendo consistently portrayed him with retractable teeth after Rare left the series. King of Swing, the DKC Returns games, Smash Brothers, even in the CG character announcement trailers Smash used, like very recently. Okay, stick with me because I have a theory. It's a bit out there, but hear me out. If Cranky was the original DK who had teeth aged up into teethless Cranky, and the DK in Donkey Kong Country was DK Jr., who aged into rareware Donkey Kong who never has teeth, the only conclusion is that the Donkey Kong we see with teeth in Nintendo's Donkey Kong is not the same Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong Country video games. It's in fact the very Kong seen in the Donkey Kong Country TV show. But what happened to Rare's Toothless Kong? Oh, he's here. He's the new Cranky. In Rare's games, Cranky always talked trash but never backed up the talk. But here he is, being a high tier pick for speedrunners, allowing acrobatics unseen with the other Kongs in the modern era. He's cranky in Tropical Freeze. The question this revelation leaves us with is, why is the TV show DK the only one who isn't aging? This is simple, the properties of the Crystal Coconut. Now, its powers aren't exactly well known, but DK was tasked with defending it until one day he can be the ruler of Congo Bongo. It was his coconut. The extent of the coconut's magic is iffy, but I believe the coconut from the TV show was one of a kind. The mass-produced crystal coconuts found in DK64 and some of the spin-off games still allow various magic powers. 
including, but not limited to, growing to gigantic size, shrinking, powering a jetpack, going invisible and being impervious to damage, or extreme speed, for example. Uh, not only this, but the Kongs get these moves from Cranky. He utilizes their magic as fuel, and in DK Barrel Blast, it's used to give the wielder invulnerability. Seems fair to me to say the original Crystal Coconut, of which there's only one, could be used for something like, say, an anti-aging potion. It's also worth noting that this is the only Crystal Coconut K. Rule is interested in. You could say it's the Master Emerald of Crystal Coconuts. Also, just to throw this out there, when you collect all the Crystal Coconuts in DK King of Swing, you unlock Wrinkly Kong as a playable character, who if you didn't know, was dead. Wrinkly Kong is dead. <laughs> you play as her ghost, and getting all the crystal coconuts allows you to play as her. I don't know about you, but something's, something's starting to connect here. But, so just to wrap it up, Donkey Kong from the arcade games grew into Cranky Kong, DK Jr. grows into Donkey Kong Country Games' main Kong, this dynamic remains until the end of DK64, after which the Donkey Kong Country TV show's Kong becomes the main Kong, using the power of the Crystal Coconut for eternal use, likely consuming the coconut in the process. The Donkey Kong Country video game's DK is now DKC Tropical Freeze's Cranky, and this honestly really explains the difference in character in the modern country games. In the original trilogy, Donkey Kong was truly a gorilla. He had a more thoughtful brain in his Kong skull capable of actually thinking. In the TV show, his gorilla-ness is largely missing in favor of a more playful, air-headed lad. If you idle in DKC1, DK aggressively howls into the sky, beating his chest. But if you idle in DKC Tropical Freeze, Donkey Kong just sits there gaming. It's really not too much of a stretch to say DK from Donkey Konga is not the same one from the DKC video games. A music game with DK having a more goofy demeanor? Dude, the TV show has multiple songs per episode. This is 100% the TV show DK. And this all lines up in real time, too. The end of the Donkey Kong Country trilogy came out in November 22nd, 1996, okay? While the first episode of the TV show came out August 15th, 1997. DK64 came out on November 22nd, 1999. But, the final episode of the TV show came out on July 7th, 2000. This was the last form of Donkey Kong Country to come out before Nintendo got a hold of the franchise because Rare left them. As far as his portrayal in Smash goes, well that's actually very interesting. When Sakurai was making Smash Brothers, he asked permission to use Grant Kirkhope's Donkey Kong voice that he used in like Donkey Kong 64 and whatnot. He had permission, he's like, yeah, you can use this voice, but Sakurai decided against it. Why? Being faithful to a character is one of Sakurai's highest priorities when he's putting a character in Smash Brothers. Except for a few that slips through the cracks, like a Ganondorf. But this is clearly means something. What this is telling me is that the Donkey Kong that's in Smash Brothers is not the same Donkey Kong that is in the Donkey Kong Country video games. And I know this isn't a case of like Ganondorf where he's not quite properly implemented as faithfully as possible. Because this is Donkey Kong, he's like the second character on the roster, okay? Like, Ganondorf was a last minute addition, they just had to get him out there when Melee was like almost done. It was about to release in like a week or whatever. Donkey Kong's one of the first characters they made, like he's not rushed, like everything they did with him is done with intent. But what this all means is that the Donkey Kong that is in Smash Brothers is the Donkey Kong from the TV show. Now yes, there is a bit of a change in character. TV show Kong is seen as more gorilla-like in Smash Brothers. However, I think this is merely a continuation of the story. Once he mastered the power which allowed him to rule Congo Bongo, he began resembling the video game hero a bit more. But his inexperience being the true hero is very clearly shown in his dash attack. In 64 Melee and Brawl, he does this weak, pathetic, unconfident little baby kick. Starting from Smash 4 though, he actually does the role from Donkey Kong Country The Game. This character arc is demonstrated through his renders they began using for portraits and brawl. 
Check it. In Brawl, his mouth is closed. This is to mask his identity as he struggles to find himself in a society that doesn't understand. In Smash 4, now that he's mastered the DK role, the true hero used so long ago, his mouth is open, but he's seen without teeth, signaling that his arc is not complete. His confidence has risen, but he's still trying to be someone he's not, as he's trying to pretend he's the toothless DK hero. Then in Smash Ultimate, the arc is complete as he's no longer hiding his true self. And would you look at that! His final Smash in Brawl and Smash 4 is from Donkey Konga, and then in Smash Ultimate, it's from Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. Simple enough, right? Case closed, story over. Well, I'd like to say so, but I've just discovered apparently Cranky Kong grows teeth while falling at a rail cart level in Tropical Freeze? The only implication this could possibly give is that at some point the immortal TV show Kong got locked into the Door of Darkness by Sora in Smash Brothers, leading to events that will be explained in Chapter 179x2 of the upcoming mobile game Kingdom Hearts Missing Link. DK was split into his nobody, Cranky, who represents his true age, and a heartless form which likely was shown the light by Mickey Mouse and through using data from the real Kong, his nobody and his real self are able to coexist at once. Now, this is just the lore of Donkey Kong. You may not like it, but that's how it is. Hopefully now the fanbase can stop fighting about this, allowing the next Donkey Kong game to safely enter development, finally. Now that DK's immortality is now in question, that sets the stage for a grand return to a big 3D adventure game for the first time in decades. Man, and that's just Donkey Kong too. What about Diddy Kong? He's got teeth in the remake of Diddy Kong Racing, but not in the original or really any other game or form of media whatsoever until Donkey Kong Country returns. And he also has it in Tropical Freeze. And wh what does that mean for T Tiny Kong, who's also in Diddy Kong Racing, like grown up? Oh, and don't even get me started on Diddy Kong blinking with his pupils.